वेलकम स्टूडेंट इन टूडे सेशन विल लर्न अबाउट वेक्टर स्पेसेस फ्रॉम लीनियर अलजेब्रा इन दिस सेशन विल सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ वेक्टर स्पेस नाउ व्हाट इज बेसिकली अ वेक्टर स्पेस इफ यू टेक एनी नॉन एम्प्टी सेट वी अंडर द ऑपरेशन ऑफ एडिशन एंड स्केलर मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट कैन बी डिफाइंड एज अ वेक्टर स्पेस इफ एंड ओनली इफ इट सेटिस्फाइड द 10 प्रॉपर्टीज और वी कैन आल्सो कॉल देम एज एक्सियम व्हिच मींस देयर आर 10 प्रॉपर्टीज इफ सेट इफ एनी नॉन एम्प्टी सेट सेटिस्फाइज all these ten properties then it can be called as a vector space if any one property fails to be satisfied then we cannot consider that set as a vector space now let's see all of the ten properties one by one since there are two operation addition and scalar multiplication the first five properties are based on addition and the next five properties are based on scalar multiplication the first property that we have is closure with respect to addition it says that if we take any two elements belonging to that particular v that is your set in such a way that their addition will also belong to the set if that addition belongs to that particular set then i can say that this first property is satisfied now the second property is commutativity with respect to addition this says that if we are adding any two elements of that set will always be equal to rearrangement of their addition which means u plus v will be equal to v plus v even if i rearrange them still their answer would be the same this would satisfy our second property now moving to the third property it says if we have any three elements belonging to that particular set such that in bracket u plus v plus w will be equal to u plus in bracket v plus w which means rearrangement of brackets is possible if we even if i rearrange the brackets i would still get the same answer and belonging to that particular set v the fourth property is existence of identity in addition existence of identity which means in addition we have to find out one element in such a way that element added with any element of that particular set will always be equal to that particular element so if you observe in addition the additive element will be zero zero when we are adding with any element will always end up in that particular element even if i am taking another element that will always end up in that element itself that is a additive identity now next is existence of additive inverse now what is an additive inverse we have to find out one element in such a way that when it is added with any element that will result into zero additive inverse can also be called as negation which means u plus negation of that particular element that is minus u u plus minus u that will always result into zero so we can also call additive inverse as negation the next property is closure with respect to scalar multiplication this says that if we take any scalar their multiplication will always belong to that particular set just like closure under addition the next is existence of multiplicative identity multiplicative identity we have to find out one identity element in such a way that when it is multiplied with any any element that will result into that particular element so the multiplicative identity is one when it is added with any element that will result into that particular element if i have 1 into v that will also result into v so this one is my multiplicative identity now next eight properties associativity with respect to multiplication this says that if we have two scalars belonging to the real numbers and any one element belonging to the set in such a way that t into qu equal to qu into v which means even if i rearrange the bracket since so even if i rearrange the bracket i am going to get the same answer and that will be always equal belonging to that set the last two properties are based on distributivity first is distributivity of multiplication over addition this says that if we multiply any vector with the addition of two elements the it, the resultant would be tu plus tu the next is distributivity of addition over dot this says that if i add two scalar and multiplied with u that will be tu plus qu and that should also belong to v so any vector space belonging to satisfying all these 10 properties will be called as a vector space even if one property fails this can never be called as a vector space i hope this is clear with you all 